sends it in deep. Brown chases after it. Hargrave is on his back, drives him into the end boards. Douglas on the near side is run into the boards by Riley Bruce. He's drawn a penalty. Bruce will be going to the box, and now it's just a matter of sorting out the extracurriculars. It was Douglas and Bruce. Well, Big Twin Towers. Six foot eight, Curtis Douglas from Oakville. And now Bruce throws a couple on the right side, going up and over, and Douglas is just hanging on. Douglas gets a right arm in, right hand in, but Bruce going over and under with uppercuts and jabs. And now the two sparring tangled up, and a couple of right hooks by Douglas landing on Bruce. Bruce fires back immediately with a hard right hand, and Douglas is floored. Good job for Douglas to show up. Six foot eight, he's 200 pounds. He's a young kid, only a 2,000 birthday out of Oakville. But that's what you want to do. It's not how how many you win, it's how many you show up for. Great job by Curtis Douglas standing up to the big Riley Bruce. Curtis Douglas, six foot eight, <laughs> takes on arguably the toughest customer on the North Bay Battalion. And for a 16-year-old to do that. That's pretty good. That's making a statement. He's a big right winger that likes to bang his way in front of the net. He's got good skill sets. He's a he's a former te he is a teammate of Tyler Tucker that came out where Toronto Titans again. Here's how the fight starts on the half wall. There's Riley Bruce. He's going to extend. Doesn't fully extend his arm. That's a cross check. That's Douglas a two-minute penalty up. right there. Douglas gets up and chirps him, pushes him back, and Riley says, "You want to dance? You're going to have to pay the fiddler." And Douglas showed up, and he paid the fiddler. He did really good, kid. And the first time in our broadcasting with the battalion is the first time we've ever seen Riley Bruce looking up at anybody. <laughs> and he was a two-inch well, disadvantage for Riley Bruce compared to Curtis Douglas, who's six foot eight. That well, and also it's it's the first time in a long time that we've seen Riley Bruce maybe starting to show his true colors. He's playing mean. He's playing nasty, and he's sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I think that would be exactly what the Calgary Flames want to see from the North Bay Battalion captain, that's, Riley Bruce. That's truculent, and you can't teach size. You can't teach reach. And that's what both of these players just had in that that scuffle. Howard Chuck's there thing. come on. Come on, my guy got a cross-check. I, I want an instigator. I want something more than just an even-up call. And right now, they only have a two-minute power play. Our Chuck's calm, cool guy. One of the better coaches in this league and in the in the Canadian Hockey League. Moran continue has a discussion with Josh Shine, the back ref. Shine had scolded Moran for giving Jason Smith a jab with his